Hello people. We are doing a hard drive upgrade. No, not an upgrade. Just a uh, replacement on this computer. The Compact Rosario C700. I just did a video about this computer, so you guys should know about it already. Doy. So, um, yeah, the hard drive is uh, failing in the system. The one that's in the system right now. And uh, we're going to be replacing the uh, Fujitsu drive with this. This is a Western Digital Scorpio Blue 160 gigabyte uh, hard drive. This was manufactured in ooh, March 13th, 2009. Yeah, so okay, that's a little newer than the stock photo that... Uh, okay, that's cool. That's about a year newer than this thing. This computer, the 6400, has an 80 gigabyte Western Digital Scorpio Blue. Same exact hard drive. So, uh, yeah. Now you may be asking, why the hell am I putting in th this in this, and then just taking this drive and sh putting it in this computer? I would do that, but I don't really feel like redoing this computer. I just want to redo one computer instead of two. So, yeah. And transferring the drive that's already installed and putting it in here, that's going to cause driver issues and that kind of crap. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to install this drive. I don't really care about having disk space on this computer because I'm only using like 20 gigs anyway. So yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started, but first I have to eat this lovely blueberry muffin. So I shall be right back after I consume this. That was a good muffin. Okay, so I've had a muffin and I'm ready to get going on this thing. We will be installing Windows 7 64-bit home premium because I'm not putting Windows 8 on this thing, so that's that. Uh, so yeah, I've taken the liberty of unscrewing the uh, hard drive bake cover, caddy cover thing. This piece of plastic right here, anyway. Yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and take the drive out. Take the drive, the current drive out. I've shown this in my last video, because I did a more, kind of a more in-depth video than I usually do on this computer. This is the current drive. Again, just for people who don't uh, know, Fujitsu, 160 gig, same hard drive, same RPMs and everything, just a different brand, and this one is better. So, uh, well, I don't know about that, actually, but whatever. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to be replacing this. This is a, it still boots and everything, and it still works, but sometimes this drive just likes to not want to be read. And that weird disk space glitch. It says I'm using 5 gigabytes of space, which is totally not wrong, because Windows 7 uses at least like 8 on install. I'm using, using, I checked it with another program, and I'm really using like 23. So this hard drive is screwed. It has like dementia or something. So we're going to be replacing it. So let me go ahead and take the drive out of these caddy, or the, out of this caddy by unscrewing these four screws right there. Hopefully. Okay, there. So, I'm going to unscrew this drive, and then we shall put the new drive in there, and format it, and install Windows. So, I'll be right back. Bam! Just like that. Out with the old, and in with the new. This drive will be returned to my dad, because he requested that, because there is sensitive data on it. So, yeah, and it's partially working, so that, that is a extremely reasonable request. So, I will be returning that to its original owner. So, let's go ahead and put this hard drive in the computer. We shall install it. Yeah. Hard to do this one-handed, but, you know, I don't have a tripod. Well, I do have a tripod, but I'm not going to use it because I'm a lazy person like that. So, let's go ahead and take this, snap it back into place, get my uh, zero, uh, P0 screwdriver here. Sorry if I'm not paying attention to the camera or where the cam where I'm pointing the camera. I'll try to make that you know realistic and shit. All right, so there we go. Our hard drive is installed. I don't want to tighten those screws too tightly because I just don't. So yeah, it has a Vista uh, Home Premium key there, but I ain't putting Vista on this thing. That is what it ran originally though, back in 2008 up until 2010. It ran Windows Vista. So. Yeah, I gotta get the power cord and uh, plug it in because I'm not running this Windows installation on battery power because the battery is not so great on this computer, so I'll go plug that in. I'll be right back. 
Alrighty guys, you ready to do this? A little update too. I cleaned this entire area right here. I took the, the Windows Vista sticker off that was on here and I installed a smaller one that, that was actually off my E6400. But I removed the said sticker from that laptop and put it on this one because at some point the, window, the original Windows Vista sticker disappeared. The Intel sticker is still here though. So yeah, I entirely cleaned this entire area so there's no residue. There used to be a little uh, sticker right there too. It is now right there because I just, I don't want to throw it away but I don't want it on the laptop so yeah. There we go. So there we go. One clean laptop. I don't know why I said there we go twice. Don't comment about it. So let's go ahead and boot this thing up and then we hit uh, F10 to get into BIOS setup. Make sure the drive's being detected correctly and all that good shiz. So there we go. Escape. I don't know why it does that. But uh, Oh, F10, save and exit. Yeah, because I pressed it 30 times, that's why. Um. Uh, do 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 Let's see. Uh, where does it say the hard drive? Nope. Doesn't say the hard drive. Where? Where's the hard drive? Boot order. So we have CD, DVD, ROM, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Escape. Escape. I don't know why. It doesn't say, like, it doesn't say, like, the hard drive. What the hell? That's weird. I'm just going to assume that it's uh, correct. So, I'm going to open up the DVD RW drive. We'll go ahead and put our disk in there. Go ahead and open the... Okay, well. All right. We have Windows 7 burned onto a disk here. Go ahead and install that. Bam. We'll be installing Windows. But, um, let me go ahead and... Uh, can I... I don't know if this thing... It's weird. I don't know if this thing has a AHCI, and I don't know if that's the setting for it. It's SATA native support. Whatever. Okay. I'm just going to assume that it's cool. F10. Yes. I didn't change anything, but okay. So let's go... What? F12 is the boot menu? Let's see. Who knows? Sorry about the blurry camera. Uh... God dang it, Bobby. There's no OS on this thing, computer. You, I hope you know that. God dang it, why is the camera all derping out? There we go. We'll just say press the key to boot to see the... Uh, couldn't read the... Uh, you know, thing. There, yeah, okay. It's just gonna do its own thing. Cool. Just gonna do it automatically. Sweet. Okay, well, I'll be back when this thing is like further into the setup process. Alrighty, we're in the installation process now. Something extremely strange just happened. I would, um,. You know, run the computer, and I do like a, a hard drive check in the BIOS. I just wanted to do it just to make sure it was detecting the hard drive and stuff. It was running the check, and about 20 seconds in, the damn thing just shuts off. So I try to install Windows, like I load up the disk, and um, it does the same thing. After it says Windows is loading files, it just went bam, went off. Uh, so I unplugged the charger and I tried to do it without battery. Did the same thing. So that's really weird. Um, so yeah, what I did was I tilted the laptop so it was like, like that. So um, yeah, and I just put the flashlight in to make sure the CPU fan was running, and it, it was running just fine. So now I don't know what I did differently, but it's working now. So that's all we care. All we care is that we can install Windows. This computer has been running for like you know five years five plus years so there's nothing wrong with it but uh well that's allocated space let's format this windows can I, yeah i know okay format i want the maximum amount of you know let's delete there we go 149 gigabytes that is exactly what it's supposed to be all right well that's that's all we need to do installing windows you know all that good shiz. Got a little ways to go. And uh, yeah, I'll update you guys shortly. 
All right, it's restarting for the first time uh, it, during the setup process. <sighs> Lucas, yeah, so it just said it needed to restart, so that's what it's doing right now. Just a quick update. We shall have Windows installed soon enough. <laughs> All right, people, we're getting there. We are at the setup screen, so Windows is pretty much done installing. Hold on, let me close my door. dog likes to open and close my door anyway yeah back to this um, yeah so let's go through the setup it installed the display driver for me which is cool it's the Intel X3100 which will make sense it's Intel I mean Windows should have support for at least that like automatically and it did I don't want no password Ask me later. Okay, let me add my All right. Hello. Welcome. We are done. We are done. So I can eject the disc now. So it's about time for this thing to get reformatted anyway. It's been three years. <laughs> Going on three years. So that's uh, enough of that. There's a lot of stuff on this computer too. So it's about time it got a, a you know, tune up. New hard drive, reformatted the OS. It's going to be in good shape after this probably have to find drivers for everything hopefully I mean Windows 7 has good support for hardware but yeah it's always the one driver that you have to install preparing my desktop my room's starting to be a mess yeah skyping with Tyler 5310 he's on mute though There we are. Oh, sound. Yay. Videos installed, sound is installed, wireless is installed. Wow. All right. Well, my job's going to be pretty dang easy then. Sweet. Just have to install a bunch of programs and crap. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah. I'll uh get this thing set up uh in the same manner that I set up the 14Z when installing Windows 8 and I'll be right back when I have at least some programs installed on this thing. Okay, this thing is definitely a lot faster now. Very cool. So I'm installing Google Chrome. I'm just gonna end the video here, uh, sort of. So uh, yeah, because I'm just installing stuff. WEI. Wow, it went up. Definitely sweet. Went up. Those two top scores used to be 4.5. 3.4 is the same, 3.1 is the same, hard drive score went up from 4.9 to 5.6. Nice, very, very nice. Cool, very cool. I'm um, installing Chrome. I'm not going to do any more segments because you guys don't really care about the programs and neither do I. I got this in. What the heck is this? This is my Core 2 Duo T9400 for this laptop. So, I just got finished fixing up this laptop. Let's upgrade that one. So that'll be the next video after this one. Anyway. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video on the Compaq uh, restoration project, I guess you could call it. Uh, hard drive replacement and Windows installation. That's what I'm going to call this video. So, yeah, thanks for watching the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.